Hello, welcome to Kent Beer Reviews. Um, I've got a bottle of sourdough from the Wild Beer Company. It's coming in at quite a low 3.6 ABV. Um, I've had a few of Wild Beer's um, beers before. Um, but I say sourdough. So the, obviously the style is sour beer. I'm not expanded my palate into these, but this is quite a low ABV one, so I thought I'd give this a try. Um, there's a there's a loads of information on the back there. Um, most of this is in the, the commercial description write up. It's quite a lot. Um, basically, it explains the. Beer and bread have been shown off their magic for thousands of years. Uh, we decided to combine the two, the old and the new contemporary ideas and historical techniques and ingredients. A very special beer that combines these things and more. Um, six months before we'd even, even had a brewery, we started to talk to Tom Hubbard about the Hobbs House Bakery's 58 year old sourdough yeast and whether we could use it to ferment a beer. Tom was excited and so were we. Uh, that's what it says. Uh, after a year of trials, each trial took a really long time to develop, we decided to loosely base the beer on a Berliner Weiss style, an historic sour beer style from northern Germany. But with wild beer, with a wild beer slant to it, we've used 58-year-old sourdough culture and a little Britomites to put the beer straight into oak barrels for its primary fermentation. It's been slowly fermenting, maturing, and souring for four months in barrels, and will continue to evolve and develop in the bottle. Um, and that's about it. it really just goes into uh, a bit more about the beer which I don't really want to read I want to find out for myself so yeah it's fermented for four months in oak barrels so anyway I'm rambling there's the bottle cap traditional uh, antlers there for wild beer company let's give this one a try so is this going to be oh, there's a little bit of smoke not too bad As I thought it was this sort of weather. Look at that. Clear at this stage. Almost like a sparkling wine. It's getting an aroma as well from here. I think it's a good six to eight inches from my nose. As you see, it's very clear. The head dissipated fairly quickly. It's clear, but it's got a slight hue, lemony hue to it. Rip roaring carbonation. Let's give this uh, a smell, see what we get. Wow. It even smells a little bit like a um, like a white grape wine. Stroke a little bit sort of fruity, sort of like cider. Yeah. Anyway, let's give this a try. Cheers. Wow. So right at the front end, you've got this. Um, let's tilt this a little bit. Right at the front end, you've got this. Obvious sour uh, note. Very carbonated. It's got like a lemon sherbet kind of thing. You know, them block flying saucers you used to get when you was a kid. I think you still get in some selected places, but anyway. It's that kind of sour a 
That's it, it's very... It's obvious sour, trying to get away from that. It's got some nice kind of fruity, like white grape. Um, maybe some sort of lemon. Very tart. Very, very tart. And it's staying on the palate. Yeah, I mean, you've got that initial burst of sourness is really strong and slowly fades. It's just leaving a, a, a little bit, even on the palate now. It's nice, it's not bad. I mean, it's not a style that I'm I'm very used to, to be honest with you. Um, I'm trying to appreciate these, this style a little bit more than I am at the moment. Um, it's only a 3.6% and you're not really getting much alcohol in this at all really. Um, it is bottle conditioned with obviously the yeast so this is going to really change. Um, oh, they're, they're, these, these guys are out of Somerset by the way. Wild Beer Company. I've had a few of their beers before. Right, let's take a little bit more. definitely a style I'm not used to. Really. Let's see if this changes what will change. Watch. Through Isabel. Get my fingers out of the way. If that camera don't fall over. Two six. It's very windy today. Right, I feel we're safe for a sec. There you go. How bright that is in this sunlight. It's all in there. So now you've got like a grapefruit juice sort of colour. Very cloudy. You've got the rip you can still just about see the carbonation running through the middle of the glass, even through the the fog of the yeast that's now in the in the drink. Look at that. No head. It does seem to have lost that. Um, the aroma of um, white wine and cider. Anyway, let's try now see if it's changed any. Much more much more deeper kind of um, it's, it's nowhere near as sour unless it's my palate just adjusting to this with my taste buds but to me it doesn't taste nowhere near as sour it seems to me there's more of the underlying fruits now coming through um, but yeah it's it's, it's uh, it's very pleasant, especially in weather like this. It's, although it's very breezy today, it's, it's, it's actually quite a warm day. So, um, no more information. I just don't think. Just before, oh, they've got a website. Anyway, there's uh, the information. Just to, on me. Just next to the barcode there. I don't know if that's focusing or not. Anyway, I'll put the uh, website on the uh, description bar below. Um, as for a rating, um, it's so it's very hard to judge a beer on a style that you're not not used to. Um, so I'm going to try and be fair with it. It's probably a very good sour. Um, but it's not to my, at the moment anyway, it's not to my taste. But I can tell 
it's a quality beer, even though I mean I'm not used to that sort of style. Um, so I'm going to give it. At the moment, anyway, I may come back and re-review this beer. I'm going to give it a seven and a half out of ten today. Um, it's, it's, it's a it's a very pleasant beer if you're used to your sours and you, you know you might like it a little bit more than my rating. Um, but these are a brilliant brewery, fantastic. I've got two or three more of this um, brewery's beers in the kitchen, in the on the floor, or in the fridge. So. I've had one or two of their beers before on keg. They've been amazing. Um, so anyway, cheers for now. Put your comments in the comments box. Please subscribe and cheers.